next game is Metal Gear Solid 4 against the Patriots. Not much can be said about this game that hasn't already be said, been said. This is an absolutely incredible game. Hands down, one of my favorite games of all time, probably top five. It was just so good and so satisfying. I remember I would like play this late at night because my dad would be playing like Call of Duty or something, and then I'd throw this in and, and watch a cutscene and then play some gameplay and see another cutscene come up and be like, I don't have time, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Because the cutscenes were like an hour long sometimes. I didn't mind it though, I really enjoyed uh, watching all the cutscenes because it felt like watching a, mo a movie, but it was an interesting movie and a one that was a continuation of everything. I have a problem sitting down and watching movies because honestly I just kind of get bored with it. Um, if it's more than an hour, I kind of just get fidgety and move on to something else. Because I don't see, there's no con continuity with movies, it seems like. Like, you could watch, you know, Requiem for a Dream or something, but then you couldn't find another video or movie that would be at the end or the beginning that would give it more context. Whereas this, it really kept the same vein. So I really, really enjoyed this game. Definitely, if you own a PS3, you have to own this game. It is so worth your money. I don't know what you can get it for, for use now, but I'm sure it's not $60. The, the orange box, I got this at GameStop for like $27, not really realizing that new it was $30. So um, I kind of spent more money than I should have if I'm buying it used, but um, it's okay. I really enjoyed Portal, and I tried getting into the other games on here, but um, Team Fortress 2 didn't really work out because there's not a whole lot of people playing it on PS3 and everything else I had watched my dad play on the PC back in the day so I kinda just got bored with them but I really enjoyed Pro Portal and I can't wait for Portal 2. The original Rock Band this was completely revolutionary one of the most amazing breakthroughs in gaming music wise ever I mean the addition of the drums and the microphone and the whole band experience and then everything else like the um, master tracks and everything. This game really marked a turning point in the music video games industry and obvious, honestly it's overshadowed by Guitar Hero 3 and that makes me a little sad because this game was far superior in my opinion. Rock Band 2, this is I would say this and Guitar Hero 2 are my favorite music video games of all time. Hands down, above and beyond everything else the level of refinement in this game is outstanding. The song selection is superb. The downloadable content option is awesome. There's so much good music that you can download. Um, again, it has the seamless online play with no lag, the ability to party chat, and I just I put so much time into this game, and it was so fun. Um, I think, yeah, I have this game on my PS3 right now, but... Uh, that is such such a good game. I could play that any time. The last of my games is Valkyria Chronicles. This is an RPG RTS hybrid. Very uh, strange idea, but very well executed. Essentially, you are a commander of a, a small troop of people in your army or whatever, and each turn you get a certain amount of time, certain amount of moves that you can make, and each move you actually control an individual unit, and you can attack and and move and take cover and everything. It's really good. It's really well done. I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's inter interested in RTSs or RPGs, to be honest. It's a very well done game. Um, that's my collection. Now this is my dad's. He has a lot more and I've played most of these games, but I'm going to try to go a little bit quicker since there's so many of them. Uh, first off, this is Guitar Hero Van Halen. We got this with Guitar Hero 5 somehow. Um, I don't know. I don't know how we got it in this case, but we have it. Um, it was okay. I didn't really enjoy playing it that much. Battlefield Bad Company, the original one. My brother and my dad really enjoyed this game for quite some time. I, on the other hand, didn't play it very much. Um, I thought that the humor was good, and I thought the single player campaign was good, but I didn't really like the multiplayer at all, and um, I was busy playing other things at the time. I think my brother was still playing Warhawk, and I was still kind of into Warhawk, and this was probably about the time when uh, Call of Duty 4 came out, so I was busy playing that as well. Bioshock 2, I was I was really going to buy this, but my dad bought it, and uh, he played through it, and he said it was incredible. I haven't got, found the time to play through it yet, um, but definitely on my list, too. I've heard it's outstanding. Borderlands, surprisingly, my dad got into this game a lot. He is not a big RPG fan, but I guess the action RPG kind of thing 
like Fallout he really gets into. So um, he picked this up while I was off at school and really started playing it. And I don't know if he beat it, but he got really far. And he did a, he put a lot of time in this game, and I've heard it's very good. Um, if I ever find myself with hours and hours and hours of time, I might start playing this. But again, I just have so many other games. Burnout Paradise. My dad got into this as well. He's he he's really good about playing all the games he buys. Um, he did, he doesn't like to leave a game incomplete. He played this for a long time, which again is surprising. He's what's weird about my dad is he grew up. Um, with you know the Commodore 64, Atari 2600, Vic 20, old school computers like that, but he doesn't really retro game that much anymore. He kept up with the the trends, I guess. And however, he's kind of more of a shooter fan, um, action adventure. So to see him playing a racing game was really strange, but he he enjoyed it. So I can't really dock him for that. Uh, Call of Duty 4: Modern Warfare. Uh, this was an excellent game when it came out. I really really loved playing it. Um, I have very good, no, I didn't show you the insides, I have very good memories of this, and I really, really liked playing it online. I don't know if I played through the story mode or not, but I played through online for a while. Um, it was a good, it was a good challenge, but it wasn't frustrating like Modern Warfare 2, so if, if the graphics were updated to look like Modern Warfare 2, I would really like to get back into playing this, but I just can't do it based on how good Modern Warfare 2 looks. Uh, he has a copy of Modern Warfare 2. We both have a copy because we play uh, with each other when I'm off at college. We'll get into a party and we'll play some. So not much else to say about that. Darksiders. Now, my dad, I think, just beat this on the normal difficulty. It's it's in the PS3 right now, actually. He uh, he really, really liked it. It, it looks, I mean, I guess it's a uh, God of War engine because it looks just like it, but there's some, like, Borderlands sounds in there. It's really strange how uh, it, it kind of takes from all kinds of other stuff, but it looked really good, and it's such a long game, I couldn't believe how long it took him to beat it. If I ever have, again, if I ever have more time, I might go, go into this, but there's just so many games in so little time.